Um, obviously, unfortunately, not many people seem to have uh, knowledge of assembly code or fourth or anything like that anymore. And I, I listened to one of Nick's earlier talks, and he was talking about the limitations. But in machine code, there's none of these limitations. And in fact, we have a rather rich instruction set in Bitcoin. It's just not well defined yet. And then the next part is we have the Ethereum going out there saying we need to build a new stack because we can't loop. But no one seems to realize that fourth actually does loop. You have to use a separate control stack. It's not like a lot of code forms where you actually have a single stack. Fourth and fourth-like languages use a dual stack architecture. So everything that we're talking about in derived contracts can actually done, be done directly in Bitcoin and the Bitcoin protocol. It's um, just going to take time for people to understand it. Since you, uh, since you mentioned Nick, then I'm going to allow him to respond to that. Do you, you need your microphone, though, sweet? <laughs> or the water. Um, no, that, that um, I have not heard that opinion before. I've never heard anybody call the Bitcoin script Turing complete, and I don't believe that's accurate. He just said you're wrong. <laughs> the difference is the script itself isn't. What you can do is you have in full a control loop. So the looping function is separate to the actual loop, uh, the, the script itself. Yeah, I mean, that, that's an esoteric thing. Um, if it's not Turing complete, then it's not a general purpose language like Ethereum, regardless of... Of, uh, but that would that assume that the only way of actually of writing thing. code would be to do it directly in a script that runs on the machine. Uh, right. okay. so, so, do you have another so, option? <laughs> <laughs> so, well, this would be a good topic for you to write a paper on because that, that's certainly an unconventional view you have. <laughs>